Okay, this is my Let's Play of War Gods. I've never done a Let's Play before, and I've decided to give it a shot now for two reasons. One, because I kind of want to experiment so that maybe I can branch out and do different things in the future other than just reviews. And the second reason is, this game's going to be kind of difficult for me to comment on the way I normally commented on reviews. I bought this game at V-Stock mainly because it caught my eye and I was curious about it. I took it home, played it for about 10 minutes to make sure it worked and to see what it was, and I would rather deep fry and eat both of my shoes than play this game ever again. So I'm gonna make this video, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube, I'm gonna stick this in my drawer and never touch it ever again. <laughs> I believe there are more commands than buttons that you can assign commands to in this game. I don't know why it lets you assign something to the L button. You're going to be playing this with the control stick. Okay. 3D, apparently I read on th online that 3D, the, that button, lets you interact with the scenery or something. I'll give that a shot, but I haven't seen anything in the scenery that you can interact with. I had to research the game's story online. Apparently, aliens visited the planet and crapped out a whole bunch of ores that give people magic powers and turn them into war gods. And there are ten war gods, and they want to fight because the one that's remaining will have powers over 9,000. I'm gonna select Voodoo just because I like the way the announcer says the guy's name. Voodoo, you are chosen. Gee, this roster thing sure looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, this game was made by Midway. This game looks exactly like Mortal Kombat. It has fatalities just like Mortal Kombat. This game is Mortal Kombat. I have no idea how I did that throw there. I keep ducking. I forget what the, I map C down to. Okay, so C right is... C left is block. I, one, round one, ha ha! C up is high kick, which is probably my best attack because it has a long range. Ah! Skeletons come out of the ground and grab you. Oh, you son of a bitch! You... She uses this attack. It completely immobilizes you. You can't do shit until she hits you. And she keeps using this attack. <laughs> yeah, there are two female characters in this game. Both of them have costumes that cover less than half of their bodies. You bitch, stop grabbing me! Fudge. You might hear a little more profane language than I usually use in my videos, because this is kind of uncensored, and also, this game- FUCK! Pisses me off. Ooh, okay, so run towards them and pie punch is the button. There are special combinations that you can use, just like in Mortal Kombat, and like in a lot of Mortal Kombat and those kinds of games, the combos are the only attacks that really do damage, except the combos are really obscure shit like punch, kick, down, semicircle backwards, then kick punch. <laughs> it's like, this- impossible to figure out shit and stuff that you have to enter in that you have to like memorize before you can use them i'm gonna try the instant fate crap there's an instant fatality code on the any nintendo 64 version where it's like you press both punch and both kick buttons at once and it does your character's fatality except i couldn't do it because you only get like three seconds to do it oh shit and, and i can't move and YOU SON OF A BITCH! He used the the pyramid thing, then he teleported, then he just did the pyramid thing again! I don't know if you can actually, if there are such things as ring out in this game, because I've been thrown out of the ring several times, and- YOU SON OF A- I- I'm paralyzed again, and I'm dead. Like- I didn't even land a hit on him! He threw a pyramid at me, I couldn't move, he teleported, and then he threw the pyramid on me again. Aw, oh, you are so pissing me off. Look, punch, punch. I think Voodoo's arm's like straight. You son of a bitch! <laughs> and, like I said, combos. The only buttons that actually do, the only attacks that do shit in this game. Well, I did a little better this time by virtue of the fact that I actually landed two hits on him. Anubis. Yeah. So it's like, first opponent, I beat fairly easily. Second opponent, DEAD! Of course, I'll continue. Oh, I get to pick a new character. I'll, I'll pick Warhead. A little shout out to my friend Taya online. Okay. Kick. Kick. Okay, it looks like a Warhead controls the exact same as Anubis does. And I'm guessing their combos are different, and that's where the variation in characters comes in, but I can't get any of the frickin' combos to work! You! Stop teleport. You tell. He's teleport spamming me! Yeah. Kick. Ah. 
I, pred I just tried pressing the 3D button and nothing happened. Ooh, he's in danger. I hit him! He's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, come on, Warhead. You have to have a better taunt than that. At least, like, pull some guns out of the and shoot into the sky like crazy. I know your background is your soul. You son of a bitch. Interestingly, not the first or most annoying pyramid of light that I am familiar with. The AI in this game, if you're unlucky, which is most of the time, they will do nothing except spam projectile attacks that stun you. It's like every character has a projectile attack that renders the opponent completely motionless and helpless until they land a hit. The AI will spam this attack over and over and over again. And again, this is the easy difficulty. Oh, come on. It's like, you have to print out a list of combos and memorize them. I'm almost... Ah, my foot is a few inches too short and I'm stunned. Crap. And I'm dead again. Come on, I have to beat Anubis. I have to break my previous record of killing one person before I die. <laughs> so it's like, to use the decent attacks in this game, you have to download a move sheet and either memorize it or have it lying next to you to reference as you play the game. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to constantly pause the game and then keep looking at the sheet to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do to find combos. And then the combos probably aren't going to work anyway because the controls are so specific that I won't be able to get them to work. Actually, I think Tech, I think Tech might be a little bit better than the other characters. Ooh, I did a headbutt thing. See how you like it, you shithead. <laughs> Come on, land a freaking... Oh, good. We were both, like, on sudden death, and I managed to, man to, managed to land a hit on him. Are we on the surface of Mars or something? Cause none of the war guys... I read the backstories of the characters. I don't remember any of them, but I remember none of them came from Mars. Come to think of it, Anubis was behind the Pyramid of Light in the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, too. It's like some guy... Oh, you son of a bitch! That's why I'm... And then he teleported. See, I just got. He used the Pyramid of White on me. I got stunned. Then he teleported, attacked me. And before I can do squat, he's using the Pyramid of Light again. You son of a bitch! I punch you in the face, you son of a bitch! Holy crap, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win! Yes! <laughs> okay, instant fatality code. And it didn't work. Fine. You know what? I didn't. The instant fatality code didn't work, but I don't care. I have gotten past the second enemy! Ha <laughs> ha! And now I am fighting Sir No Shirt and Skirt. <laughs> ah, crap. I haven't seen anything you can interact with. This guy kind of looks like the guy from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, except wearing a blue skirt instead of a red skirt. And I'm dead. Ah, uh, how can wins? Oh. So, looks like the characters can teleport. Ah, oh, yeah! Did a combo by completely mashing the B button, and lucky stuff happened. Like, that's what happens. You mash buttons, and you hope that one of the buttons will actually do something. It looks like every character has a teleport attack and a stun attack, which raises the question of, like, what is the difference between these characters? I, that's why I... That's, well, that's one of the reasons I don't like Mortal Kombat, is because all the characters are the same. I'm doing much better at this than I did the first time I tried it. Okay. Ah! Teleport. Teleport. Teleport! Jeez, now I know how I have other people feel when I use Kuro in One Piece Grand Battle. I don't know if I would- oh, he no, I wasn't blocking, I was just stunned while his combo finished. Ten hits! Holy crap, I couldn't even deal ten hits ins consecutively in my dreams! You betrayed Shiva! <laughs> I don't know if one of the sh characters in this game is Shiva or not. I don't I don't think so, but... I have a character that looks like... Ooh! I have a strategy that works. Run towards him and use the throw! <laughs> that way he can't come back for a counterattack. Yes, I cannot punch him beyond these walls, quite clearly, because there is a wall of solid candles that he cannot go past. That's... Okay. Okay, I have found a, a tactic that works. Run towards opponents and grab and throw them. Like, my friend um, Dan has a game called, um, one of the Naruto fighting games, like, I sucked at it, 
And the only, I, mean, I kept beating him because I was using Zabuzan. I figured out one attack that was really good that I just kept using over and over again. It's like, it is better than ma it is better to master two moves than to try and figure out how the fuck this game works. <laughs> Her <laughs> victory pose is literally to lie back and shake her boobs back and forth. And because the press start prompt keeps appearing, I have no idea who the hell I'm fighting. I don't know what his name is. I... I would like to try a 3D button, see what the hell it does, because I can't imagine... What in the what in this environment can I interact with? There's nothing around here except a green circle on the ground. Grab and throw. Grab and throw. Okay, this there is one positive thing I'll say about this game. It doesn't do that Street Fighter crap where you can block and be completely immune to all damage because as cheap as the AI is programmed to be, I guarantee they would do that non-stop. Pagan. Okay. Well, I'm actually doing pretty good. <laughs> ah, fuck. And... dead. That all you got, statue? I got killed by a guy with a ten-hit combo! Then the Earth is apparently red and black in this universe. Oh good, he can do the grab-and-throw attack too. It's like, so... All these characters are pretty feel like the same because they all have the throw attack, they all have the teleport spam attack, it looks like. They all have the stun attack. Of course, God forbid I actually figure out how the hell to use any of these attacks. And to you, attack, I leave a boot to the head. <clears throat> so they don't even have character skins. They don't have alternate skins. Oh, wait. They do have character skins. His leg is blue. Oh, he has a laser eye attack? Why don't I get a laser eye attack? Oh wait, I do. I just have to press punch, kick, semicircle back, then kick punch before I get a chance to do it. Okay, so if he really wanted to kill the opponent, why wouldn't he just use the laser eye and vaporize them without resulting to this stupid fighting? Wins round two. That was the, one of the things that killed me in X-Men Next Dimension. You're playing as Cyclops, you have to win a fight, just have Cyclops take his visor off! Like, just have... Like, the cyborg guy wants to win a fight, just have him fire his beam constantly. Of course, I think he heard me, because now he just keeps spamming that attack! Fuck. And now I am dead. That's kind of lame. The cyborg bleeds sparks instead of blood. Well, I've got one life left. Oh, that is Anubis Alcon. Ah, I didn't want Tack. I wanted to select the other big boob lady just to... See what her vic to see if her victory pose was as sexist as the other one was. <clears throat> Ow! 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 You may have a laser eye, but I'm horny. God, that came out wrong. And again, mashing the B button is the key to victory. It's like, why bother even trying to pull off imp important combos? You figure out one move that works and you just spam that and that's enough to get you through the game. YOU STOP THAT RIGHT NOW! Die! I mash B! I will punch the shit out of you! Right after I impale you for the 42nd time, yet somehow you are still standing. Die! Okay, instant fatality code, see if it works. And it's not doing squat. I press punch. I press high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick at the same time. I heard that's supposed to trigger the fatality, and instead it doesn't do any of those things. It's like at least jump into the air and punch kick him at the same time with both feet and both fists. Because that's the only way I can imagine how a kick punch would work. Wow, I'm kicking this guy's ass again by just mashing the B button. Yeah, that's all the blood that appears when you punch someone. It makes you wonder why this game needed to be rated M. Oh, right, because it's a Mortal Kombat clone, and apparently blood is the most important thing in Mortal Kombat. You stop that right! You stop stunning me! It's unlocking me right now! You... <clears throat> that's it. You're getting impaled! The control stick had me walking backwards instead of towards him because the camera got screwy. 
I punctured your kidney with my spike, but no, you're fine. You can still keep fighting and use your teleport spam attack. And apparently you have nuclear farts. <laughs> Prove yourself. No, I wanted to impale his kidney, not punch him in the heart again. Jeez, Kyodai was right. The core memory touch. You don't mess with that shit. It's like we were both crouching on the ground. Ow, 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 ow. My guy was like... The fire arose around him, and then he started tap dancing, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Jesus, he looks like he's, do this guy looks like he's doing Tai Chi when he fights me, because he's like, whoa! Yeah, try to do Tai Chi with both lungs punctured, ha <laughs> ha! Who the hell is this guy? I might have to try using him if he's got energy swords. But then again, there I go wanting to play this game some more. <laughs> Like I said, two female characters, both of them, their suits cover less than half of their bodies. Oh, ow! She raised a dinosaur out of the ground and it bit my legs off! I know I said I wanted to see her victory animation, but I don't want to see it that bad. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I might have to check Viking, the textbooks, but I think Vikings wore more armor than that. So now I've got game over. And I can't say I'm sad about that.